This bitch gonna blow it. It sounds so loud like the McDid What is going on YouTube fam? So we are starting today off really really bright and early as you can see it's still like uh dew and stuff on the windows. We are on the way to Lewisburg to meet up with Jeff with the uh, L20B, my brother with the L20B um, wagon. And uh, finally, after about, I wanna say about two or three years, he's gonna have it retuned. He now has uh, PLM headers on it, so I think it'll be a little bit of gain in it. Um, as well as his valve lash has been uh, completely redone, so it should have pretty decent compression and uh, we are gonna be switching from the old chrome that he's on now to that good old Honda Tuna Suite. So you already know we are about to do some flame shooting and crackle tuna, so make sure y'all stay tuned. There you go, Jim. <laughs> Like just going off the noises, I can tell Nisha's valves are really loose because like hers got a lot more. Like yeah, yours you, yours a lot quieter than her. Man, this is what I like. I don't care how clean somebody call it. This shit is really like it, shit. it's been used. Glass, boy, look at the fucking... look at this shit, boy. Like they use this thing. <sighs> Best thing in it is the safety equipment. That's how you know it's a real track car. I wonder what's under the bunny. Look, Duff beard like off the Simpsons. Yeah. <laughs> that junk cool as hell. <laughs> oh, oh snap! <laughs> it's, the, it's the wheels for me. <laughs> Them shit be alright though. Oh shit, it's an auto. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I bet it's an M8. You, you think so? I don't know. Though. I see a stock computer in there. The hood ain't locked. We're just going around peeping at it. Oh, oh shit! shit. Bro! Yo! Automatic H23. What? Or was it an L? I didn't oh, look. No, we didn't see. You want to open back up? Get the fuck out. Somebody watching my video right now. Hey, bro, that's my car. It's a track car. You know, it got the. That's an intercooler hung on there. Shoot. Yeah, she got the RPF1s all around. Typical wheel for everybody that really used that car. What got me, man? Look at the muffler. I ain't never seen one like that before. Especially like a damn dirt bike. Yeah, it's a weird pipe. <clears throat> he got some stuff done, and then I think they ended up tuning it. But he won't go tune it first. They did. He did some maintenance stuff to it, I think. Or it might have been transmission work. Something had to do with the transmission. Yeah, cause it looked like they, they had the hands on this tire with them. Yeah. They had something they had to pull something back. So they did that and then they ended up giving it that J. Mills sauce. Sweet, sweet. Nothing beats the integral shifter, bro. Look at that shit. That joker, bro. it's bent and, and contoured to where you can snap that bitch. <laughs> like, you shouldn't have no excuses, man. The miss of gear, yeah. yeah. Like, this is the ultimate perfect daily. I just can't find one like that's in good shape for a good price. They still high. But like this thing is like the ultimate daily driver, man. You man, you get this and then you put like the K Pro or whatever on it. <laughs> make make your 220 or whatever. And then you just got a nice four-door sedan with 220 horse. Boy, he got the pearl in this bitch though. Yeah, yeah, drift stick. Now with an angle kit hell on that bitch. I know you can tell by looking how the tires leaning in the front. <laughs> that joker boy. Like those those was, that was tires alone, bro. Like, like that's your highest. Bro, hell you falcon too. Yeah. Dang. 
But that paint, he is popping there. Hey, that's some clean paint. I don't know this guy, but y'all follow him. I think it was Instagram. Got a big carbon wing on it. I love that paint, dude. This shit it's is deep. Hot, yeah, it's, it's so clean that it don't look like he probably don't track it. Probably just got a, you know, that look to it. Dang, I wonder if he'll sell me these. Yeah, they slipped right yeah. there. But this is that one that was sitting in the front, ain't it? <clears throat> There's a motor inside. What we got? Man, I don't know where the fucking hood falls. Yeah, it's old school. Okay, Ooh. what we got? B16. All motor, baby. See, that's what I'm talking about. Reliability. Hell they yeah, did coil on plug. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you got the best reliability, bro. Yes. Look at that intake. I ain't, is that powder coated? I ain't never seen one red like that. That shit aftermarket is here. Yeah, too. cause it ain't no ports really, but it do got the thing. But that's big. That thing mm. huge, man. Yeah, look, it's all, damn near right up against the brake. Yeah, got this little cross brace, OBE. RPM racing timing belt. It, the only thing about looking at it, it looked like she ain't ran in the way. Yeah. That bitch nice though. Damn, that's a skinny ass motor, man. <laughs> you know, B series. No, it mean. ain't B series. It's the CRX. That's oh, what make shit. it. Like B, like on niches, that joke almost wide as the aces uh -huh. and stuff. That's a little skinny man. Bro, it like what it like some backup for a V6. It is. Oh, I mean, shit. I think it's just a bunch oh. of parts. I don't know. Yeah, I'm about to say who could come out going J32. <laughs> Look at the cage painted the same color. And then they cut out all the shit. Wait a minute. This is a V6 shape. Yeah. So had, maybe maybe that's for a V6 then. They had a J30 in this boy. Yeah. J30 something. That's what that is, because that's the exact same shape. Yeah. I don't care how many times I see these batteries, I always look at them as audio batteries. I don't know why people put them on race car. Yeah. I know they I know they made for that too. But I always just see them as, oh shit, somebody got some beat. But this paint is nice though. Like, it's too nice to be a race car paint to me. I, I take this joint to show. Yeah, yeah. But I guess people's damn outlook on cars are different sometimes. And then we got something else boosted over here. They got a pan on this. That's the one that's been here forever, ain't been in the bag. I think it is, yeah, that's right. It was over there behind the dino door. Nothing like that black on black, boy. I love them fucking damn inky RPL. Yeah. Board, and see, like, this, the way this is set up, this is what I want on my H to B. Yeah. Like, I, but I want the slips. I want roller slips, but I want like a little cheap eBay towel on the back, and I want a nice little meaty towel on the yeah. front. That way, I can drive it and have traction when I need. <laughs> I can't believe I had the timer belt and the damn uh, the balance. I felt I still know the body. Oh god. We gotta make it. This shit is slam. <laughs> hey. 
Oh, 50 to 1. Bro, I ain't never made that much torque, man. My shit was 145 last So that damn hell will probably give you some low end torque, boy. Yeah. You start at 75. Got a little more in. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> this bitch gonna blow it. It sounds so loud like the McDid turn. So basically what he gonna start working on now is that Honda tuning suite uh, two-step and the uh, crackle tune. So let's get ready to see some flames. Now, um, 
just want to give a quick huge shout out to James for doing this man because uh, I don't know a lot of y'all not aware of this but James no longer tunes and really works on Saturdays or on weekends unless it's something you know that he's trying to get done personally and he literally looks out for me and tries to uh, work a Saturday in whenever I need something to him just so I can get a video for you guys so huge huge shout out to James for that make sure I put his uh, Instagram right here at the bottom of the screen and if y'all could take the time if you don't already go over there and follow him on Instagram as well as he does have a YouTube channel as well J Mills tuning so if you could show him love and you know, let him know that the Driven Film Squad is, is uh, you know, really thankful for everything that he does for us because he doesn't have to do anything that he does for me. It's just, I don't know, man, over the years of service, he's just become a friend. So he looks out, you know, and um, just want to make sure he really know that we appreciate it. So that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up here. So as always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smack the like button for me. I will catch y'all on the next one. As always, like, share, subscribe, and remember, respect all videos. Peace out.